Hello, Year 11. Um, I've written a few notes because I wanted to make sure what I'm going to say, say today is um, from my heart. Um, last Friday pretty much summed up what an amazing year group you all are. You're absolutely brilliant. The send-off was amazing. Not one of you complained about the whole um, situation that we found ourselves in. No one, People did get upset, but generally tears of emotions and uh, rather than than sad about the fact that the school was shutting down. Um, I think you just amazingly pulled yourselves together as a year group. I was blown away, blown away really by the emotions of uh, Friday's Leavers Assembly. I'm so, so proud of you. Uh, I was proud of what you've achieved over the last five years at St Joseph's. Um, really 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 lovely send off thank you thank you to all of you each one of you whether you got up on the stage and sang or played a piano or did a, a drama piece or got into a band put together that day brilliant um for those of you in the audience watching it, it was really lovely to see how involved you were and how you bonded as a year group that day and looking at the staff's faces was amazing they were so so happy for you all um even mr robinson cried um, your tutors have all set you a little challenge, um, which have been put on the video. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but someone's going to put some videos on. And they've all set you a little challenge, and I'd really like you to try and uh, tackle those with the same amount of energy and enthusiasm that you have demonstrated all year. Um, I too have a challenge for you. Uh, there's something on the National Health website called the uh, they're called the Five Steps of Wellbeing, and it's it's all about improving your own personal mental health and making sure that you have a good, good, um, I suppose, self-esteem and, and feel positive about yourselves. The first one, which is quite hard to do at the moment, and that's to connect with other people. So what I want you to try and do is take time out to spend time with your family, with your brothers and sisters, uh, whoever's at home at the moment. Uh, and if you can't be with them physically, try and give them a phone call rather than a text or a, a, um, whatever form of social media you use. Try, try, try and speak to someone personally and give them that time, especially now as we can't go out and see people as often, or well, if at all. Switch off your TV, um, play a game maybe with someone in the family and try not to rely on technolo technology if you can help it. Um, the other thing that I think we're all trying to do a lot more of is be physically active. Um, it's great for your health and fitness, but it's also great for your for your well-being and, and it raises your self-esteem. Set yourself a little daily challenge, um, maybe a 20 minute walk, walk stroke jog, maybe get on your bike. Um, if not, maybe do something at home in the house, maybe um, Joe Wicks. Obviously, everyone's doing Joe Wicks at the moment, but there's loads of videos out there that you can put on YouTube. I did a eight minute abs burn today, followed by a 15 minute dumbbell hit exercise I'm making, <laughs> but it was good. Um, those chemical changes that take place in your body have a really positive impact on your, your own personal positivity. Right, the next one, the third one, is I want you to try and learn a new skill. Not easy, because we obviously can't go out, but, um, but we've all got loads more time on our hands than we, than we used to have. So what I'd like you to do is uh, uh, try something new, maybe cook, maybe bake. Um, I mentioned in my email FutureLearn, the website. FutureLearn is an amazing website where you can log on, choose any topic you're interested in, nothing to do with A-levels, GCSEs, just something really interesting. Um, and you can do a course, online course for free. Really good for the old CV for when you start looking at A-levels, uh, sorry, sixth form, after sixth form, so things like um, universities or apprenticeships. Give it a go. Um, or maybe try a DIY project at home. Be careful that on any injuries. But see, maybe you could paint, tidy up the house, fix something. Give it a go. The fourth thing is I'd like you to give to others. Um, so an act of kindness of some sort. And I think that gives you a sense of purpose. So it's not just about making someone else feel appreciated, but it will also uh, improve your self-worth. And the last one is all about you. So what I want you to do is pay attention to, they call it the present, the moment. Uh, it's all to do with mindfulness. So give yourself some space in your mind to think about 
your feelings, uh, think about your body, to think about yourself, uh, to reflect on you know your strengths and maybe um, use this time wisely to think about what you want out of this time. Right, I've talked way too long. Um, I'm really, really missing you all. And I really hope that we'll see each other soon. Um, don't forget to get your hoodies ordered. 8th of April is literally the cutoff. Um, and get your prom deposits in. It's only £10, so if, you, if you've got any problems with that, give me a shout. But get your prom deposits in because I'm 100% going to have a party, whether it's the week before we go back to school in September or, or whether it's June, July time. Who, who knows? Anyway, take care, everyone, and keep smiling. Oh my goodness, I didn't realise you were there. That is year 11. Yeah, it looks like year 11. Hello, year 11. How are you? I hope this finds you well. Um, welcome to the Nickel Man Cave. Not a lot of people get to see here, so um, you're welcome. Um, I hope you are all well. I hope you've had a good week. I hope you have survived the strangeness of the week. Um, I hope that you've managed to uh, keep on top of things. I hope that you have uh, been sent plenty of revision work and plenty of activity to keep your brains ticking over. Um, there are lots of hopes wrapped up there. I appreciate that, but it's been uh, it's been a strange time. Um, I've got a challenge for you if you're up for it. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of uh, mini sagas, but mini sagas are stories of exactly 50 words and uh, you're allowed up to 10 more words in a title. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Please email me at my normal school email address. Um, I'll post some details about mini sagas onto Doddle and uh, give you a few instructions and a few ideas there. Um, but the winner of the best mini saga is going to win a, a £10 voucher for somewhere uh, yet to be decided. Um, but I'll look forward to hearing from you uh, with all of that. Um, I hope that uh, your weekend has been good and and um, I shall hopefully um, hear from you um, all before too very long. And uh, particular hellos to Eleven Cecilia. Stay safe, everybody, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. All the very best. Bye for now. Is this on? Can't see a thing. Take seven. Year 11? Hi Year 11, in particular 11M, how are you all? I hope you're at home staying safe and sound. I want to say thank you for welcoming me. Our time was cut way too short but I've enjoyed every second. To keep you busy I gave you all a required practical science book. I know that the exams are not coming but science is the future my friends, we need to keep going. I challenge you to recreate as many of those science practicals at home as you safely can. Send pictures on a postcard, or probably by email would be quicker. Um, I think I could probably get a tenner out of Miss Cheston for the person who completes the most number of practicals. Have a look through, the more adventurous the better, but remember only use what you've got at home and stay safe inside or in your back garden. I wish we were all still at school together. I'm missing being followed around by Karen. I'm missing Juliana and Imsal rolling their eyes at me, which they're probably doing right now with this cheesy video. Take care of yourselves. Hopefully I'll see you all in September, the more the merrier. Figure that out, year 11. Hello Year 11, um, this is the third time I'm trying to take a video to send off to you. I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. Um, as you know, me and technology do not get on. Um, I've been trying very hard this week to set work on Teams, um, doddle I can manage. Teams so far is um, I'm struggling with, but um, I'll have to learn. We'll have to learn how to do things differently from now on. So here's a little math challenge for you, kind of maths. So, there are 30 people in a room, and you shake hands with everybody just once. How many handshakes are there in total? Please email me, um, please get in touch. If there are any particular questions you have with anything, let me know. Um, 
I really, really miss coming to school, teaching you. I really miss um, seeing my form every day. Lots of you drove me crazy. Um, you know who you are, but I do miss you. Um, the main thing is, though, that we stay safe. Um, look after each other. Look after yourselves. Um, and find a little happy place. Um, I'm in my happy place right now, which is my kitchen. Um, I'll show you... Um, Let's see if you can uh, have a look. So behind me is, uh, is oh, there we go, is my patio. Um, this is my, uh, my little, where I sit down, um, just look out into the garden. You have to find yourself a, a space. That, uh, that you like. I always have my radio on, I don't know if you can hear it, my music playing, um, when I'm cooking, when I'm just sitting here reading or whatever. Uh, look after yourselves and I do hope we get to see each other again very, very soon. Bye. Good evening E11s. Um, this is Mr. Odeh coming your way. Hello, hello. I hope everyone is fine. Um, just checking on all of you and making sure everyone is fine and also keeping safe from the COVID-19. Follow government precautions, wash your hands, be nice to your parents, stay at home. Remember, hashtag stay at home. If you get outside, you get a fine. So stay at home. I believe you can work the mat. Haha, <laughs> ironic. Um, I really want all of you to um, download the 2018 November paper um, at Excel um, from Math Genie. Do that please and download paper one, two, three. I want every 11 to solve paper one, two, and three. And what I want from you also to do is if you're in set one and set two, you know you're higher. So what you've got to do is download the higher paper. If you are set three, you are doing the foundation paper. Ensure that everything is done and then um, mark it because it's got the answers as well. And then just make sure that um, you send it uh, once that is done. Check your marks and email me your marks. Um, I, I, would I would love to know your marks so I can grade you. I've got the grade boundaries. You ain't got it. I got it. So um, send it to me and stay safe. Uh, Miss Justin was insisting um, I sing for you. See, the last song you got, that's the one, the last one you've heard from me until further notice. So, uh, Miss Chesting, sorry. <laughs> um, stay safe, people. Much love from Oday. All right? Cool. See you. Peace out. Bye. Hello, Year 11. I hope you're all well, and I hope you've had a really good week. Um, I'm just out enjoying my daily exercise, and I thought that since it's now been out for over 24 hours, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to talk about the theme of the week. And the theme for this week is unconditional faith. And I think it's a really fitting theme of the week considering the current global pandemic that we find ourselves in. Um, in my lifetime, I've never known a time of GCSEs haven't happened at the time uh, that was originally planned in May and June. And I'm sure that many members of staff who have been around for several decades haven't known a time like this either. So um, I want to take this opportunity to remind you that uh, fear is perfectly natural because I can assure you that many adults are feeling the same way. However, um, I think that the messages in this week's Gospel reading are important ones to remember. Um, there are three key messages that I want to um, ingrain in your minds and they are comfort, faith and hope. And we see all of these in this week's Gospel reading. It's about um, Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead and um, I'm sure you will have all seen in uh, various RE lessons up and down since year seven um, what this story, uh, what happens in this story. So Martha and Mary are Lazarus's sisters and uh, they have every reason to be fearful. And they are, they are fearful. Um, their brother Lazarus is in a really bad way and um, they would have every reason to lose faith. However, um, uh, it's through their faith that they see positive results. Uh, Lazarus is already in a bad way when Jesus is around, but by the time that Jesus gets to Lazarus, he is already dead. However, um, even though Martha and Mary have fear, their faith is stronger than their fear. And as a result, 
Lazarus is raised from the dead. Um, it's important to point out because it's very uh, similar to uh, the current uh, feeling that's around this country that um, we need comfort, we need to be comforted and uh, Jesus, he weeps with Martha and Mary, he is crying there too. So um, it's important, to, it's a reminder to us that Jesus is with us even in uh, times of fear and uncertainty. So that's where the first message, comfort, comes in. But then Jesus rewards Martha and Mary for their faith and he raises Lazarus from the dead. So that's where your second message of faith comes in. And obviously through Jesus' death and resurrection, ascension into heaven, uh, he reminds us that there is something much, much better for us in the future. So that uh, gives us every single reason to be hopeful. Now you all have a really good support network around you, um, not just family and friends, but um, myself and all the other members of staff are still working really, really hard to put you in uh, the best position you can possibly be in. Um, the tasks that we're setting on Doddle and Microsoft Teams and uh, other other networks, other, other apps that you're using, um, they're all to provide as much evidence as possible uh, for you to get the best results. Um, we will be asked for evidence um, to prove as to why we've awarded you predicted grades and in order to increase those, um, we need the evidence in front of us. So that's why we're doing this. We want you to do really, really well um, and we want to put you in the best possible position for moving forward for your future. So please remember those three key messages, comfort, faith and hope. And if you give us all of that evidence to put you in the best position, you will be rewarded. You'll be rewarded for having all three of those things. So stay safe, stay indoors, apart from if it's to do uh, your daily exercise like I'm doing right now. And remember, you have the support there. All you need to do is email us if you want any help and we will be there for you. Take care.